choosing the right CPU for your next build sounds easy until you start comparing Intel or AMD. One is faster and one is more efficient. But which one actually fits your need? I've gone through benchmarks, reviews and real world tests because no one wants to overspend or end up with the wrong CPU. And here's what I realized. The i5-14600KF and Ryzen 7 8700F, they signs in very different ways. One handles AI and multitasking better, the other one is the beast in gaming. So today, we are breaking it all down. No fluff, just work actually matters. So let's get into it. So we have got two solid mid-range CPUs here, the Intel i5-14600KF. So if you are into overclocking or high refresh gaming, it's built for that. On the other side, AMD Ryzen 7 8700F, so it runs cooler and draw less power. No integrated graphics here either. But you are getting AMD's 5 nanometers Zen 4 efficiency. Starting with the Cinebench single core, here Intel takes the lead, delivering higher scores and snappier performance. If you are gaming or using apps that thrive on raw power, Intel clearly has the edge. No surprise here. Switching to the Cinebench multi core, Intel really pulls ahead with its 10 core setup. With 6 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, it's built for those multi threaded tasks like video editing or heavy multitasking. Ryzen, while solid, can't quite match the Intel in this area. Now, the Blender 3.3 render test. Intel finishes the render faster. If you are into 3D modeling, animator, or anything that needs a heavy render load, Intel got that extra bit of speed, saving you time and keeping things smooth. For 3D Mark Time Spy, Intel's is still in the lead. When it comes to the GPU intensive tasks like gaming or high performance benchmarking, Intel delivers those extra frames and smooth visual. In Geekbench 6.3, Intel keeps up its winning streak. Higher scores in both single core and multi core shows that it's built for both light task and the heavy lifting, giving you all that around solid performance. Then we hit the cross mark score. Yep. Intel's ahead here too, reinforcing its overall strength in various workloads. Finally, let's talk about the power consumption. Intel's i5-14600KF and the AMD Ryzen 7 8700F are on the opposite side of the spectrum. The Intel chip pulls a hefty 169W, so while it excels in high performance tasks, it requires robust cooling and could lead to the high electricity cost. If you're pushing it for the longer periods, the extra power can also cause overheating, so keeping it cool is a priority. On the other hand, the Ryzen 7 8700F is much more powerful efficient drawing only 90 watt. That lower power consumption means quieter operation, lower temperatures and less strain on your system. Ideal for long gaming sessions or sustained workloads like AI ML tasks. If you are after a more energy efficient cool running setup, Ryzen is definitely the way to go. While Intel delivers on performance, Ryzen focuses on efficiency without compromising too much on power. To sum it up, Intel dominates in raw performance speed, multitasking, rendering, you name it, it delivers. But if you want better thermals and power efficiency, Ryzen holds its ground. Both have their strengths. It all comes down to what matters the most for you. Alright, so we have paired both the CPUs with the 8GB RTX 4060, which is a solid spec on paper. But the real question is how they actually feels in the game. Numbers are one thing, but a consistent and smooth performance is what actually matters. Take the Cyberpunk 2077 for example. It's a heavy game, packed with details, constant action, and a city that never stops moving. Here, AMD holds up slightly better. When things get chaotic, it managed to keep the experience smoother. But then you jump into the Red Dead Redemption 2, a massive open world with those long cinematic rides, and Intel starts pulling ahead. Frame pacing feels more stable, especially when you are just roaming around. Then there is God of War, fast combat, quick reactions. Intel feels just a bit more snappier, especially in boss fights where dodging at the right moment is everything. And in Hogwarts Legacy, where spells are flying and environment shifts in real time, Intel adds again, making traversal and combat feel smoother. So what's the move? If you are playing with something like the Cyberpunk or GPU heavy titles, AMD has a slight edge. But across a mix of games, Intel just delivers a more consistent feel. At the end of the day, both are solid choices. The differences aren't huge, but they are there. So we have talked about gaming. But what about AI ML and how do they handle everyday tasks? We have tested the i5-14600KF and the AMD Ryzen 7 8700F both paired with the 8GB RTX 4060 and 16GB of RAM to see how they actually perform in real world scenarios. The result, both CPUs are solid, but they sign in the different areas. Let's break it down. Now, if you are into machine learning, deep learning or data science, you need a CPU that can handle long sustained workloads without breaking a sweat. The 14600KF does well with lighter AI ML tasks, training small models, running quick inferences, but under heavy prolonged loads, it can throttle due to high power draws and thermals. 
Meanwhile, Ryzen 7 8700F stays more stable over time, making it the better pick for deep learning training, data analysis, and AI inference work. Benchmark shows that the Intel has better multi-core performance overall, but when it comes to the extended AI workloads, AMD is just more efficient. So if you are just experimenting with AI models, Intel is fine. But if you are running serious ML workflows, AMD holds up better in the long term. Now for everyday work, email, documents, spreadsheets, browsing, both CPUs handle it effortlessly. Intel feels a bit snappier thanks to the stronger single-core performance, so apps launch slightly faster. But AMD excels in multitasking. If you are someone who keeps 30 Chrome tabs open, runs background applications, or hops into virtual meetings, Ryzen gives you a smoother experience. That said, both CPUs are honestly overkill for simple office work. So unless you are constantly juggling multiple apps, either one will do the job just fine. For content creators, video editors, designers, CPU performance can make a real difference. The 14600K app leads in raw video rendering speeds. If you are working on 4K timelines, applying heavy effects or exporting frequently, Intel's faster processing power saves time. But AMD is better for multitasking during creative work, running Photoshop, Illustrator and After Effects side by side feels smoother on Ryzen. That said. When it comes to the render times and timeline scrubbing, Intel takes the edge, making it the better pick for heavy video editing and rendering workloads. So what's the verdict? Both CPUs are solid, but they cater to different users. Need faster rendering, quicker response time, and snappier single core performance, Intel is the way to go. Prefer better multitasking, stable AI performance, and efficiency in the longer workloads, AMD makes more sense. At the end of the day, it all depends upon your workflow. Which one fits your need? Let's talk. The 14600KF really signs with the 5.1GHz boost clock, giving you fast single-threaded performance for tasks like gaming. With its 10 cores, 6 performance cores for efficiency, multitasking and overall performance are on point. But it's a bit of power hog. It has a 125W of TDP. So when you push it in Prime95, it can spike all the way up to 169W. So you are gonna need solid cooling to keep temperatures in check. Plus, the KF version gives you that extra cost for overclocking support. The Ryzen 7 8700F stays cool with its 65W. TTP, making it way more power efficient. Even under heavy workloads like the Prime 95, it maxes out at 98W, so it's running quieter, cooler for those long sessions. Its 32MBL 3 cache helps with tasks like rendering and multi-threaded workloads, but you are not getting the same boost clock speed of 4.6GHz. Now if you want the raw performance, don't mind dealing with that heat, the Intel is your pick. But if you are after cooler, quieter, more energy efficient, with a strong multi-core performance for longer workloads, Ryzen is where it's need to be. Both the CPUs handle the RTX 4060 like champ, no bottlenecking there. On the other hand, the Ryzen 7 8700F with its older architecture and fewer cores can struggle a bit, especially with bigger GPUs in heavy workloads like 4K gaming or high-end rendering. Meanwhile, the i5-4600KF does better working smoothly with the RTX 4070, though it might show some bottlenecking with the 4080 or 4090 in demanding tasks, but it's still a better match than the Ryzen for those higher-end GPUs. For motherboard compatibility, the i5-14600KF uses the LVS700 socket, which pairs up with 600 series and 700 series boards like the Z690 and Z790. You will get a PCI 4.0 and faster RAM plus room to grow with future upgrades. The Ryzen 7 8700F, on the other hand, uses the AM5 socket, which is a part of the newer and more future-proof platform. It's compatible with the B550 and X570 boards, supporting PCI 4 and DDR4 RAM, though it's ready for DDR5 as well. Both CPU gives you the flexibility to use the DDR5 RAM, delivering faster speeds and smoother performance. Now, if you are building a PC under 80,000, I would say go for either the i5 or the AMD. Both are excellent options, but let me guide you through the hardware choices I think would work best for you. For the GPU, you can't go wrong with the GeForce RTX 4060 8GB. This is the sweet spot for 1080p and 1440p gaming. For RAM, I think 16GB of DDR5 5200MHz is a solid choice. You will be future proof with the DDR5 and it will make your multitasking smoothly while gaming or working on the other tasks. Now for the storage, I would say go with a 500GB of PCI Zen 4 NVMe SSD. For cooling, I think the Ant eSport IC C400 CPU cooler is solid. It will keep your CPU cool even during long gaming sessions. It's an affordable option that will work well with both CPUs. As for the PSU, I recommend getting the 650W PSE. It's more than enough to power these builds and it's 80 plus Bronze certified, so it will be efficient and reliable, perfect for handling your components, especially if you decide to upgrade in the future. Now for the motherboard, in the AMD Ryzen 7 build, I recommend using the MSI B650M. This motherboard is great match because it supports AMD 8000 as well as AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors and the AM5 socket, which makes it feature proof for upcoming 
upcoming Ryzen CPU. It also features DDR5 memory with support for speeds of up to 700 plus megahertz which is overclocked, ensuring you got the top tier performance. For the i5 build, I recommend getting the MSI Pro B760 MP motherboard. This board supports the 14th gen, 13th gen and 12th gen Intel Core CPUs with the LGA 1700 socket which perfectly matches the 14600K. It also offers DDR5 memory support with speeds up to 6800 MHz which is overclocked, ensuring smooth multitasking and top performance for gaming. Finally for the case, you can go with the any case you want under the price range of 3000 rupees that has great airflow and also keeps everything cool during long gaming sessions. 80,000 is the sweetest spot for building a high performance PC because it offers the perfect balance of price and performance. At this budget, you can easily get top tier components that will handle productivity, gaming and multitasking with ease. If you are thinking about building a PC with either of these CPUs, I have put together a full part list for both setups which are linked in the description box down below. These are the parts I would actually recommend for the best balance of price to performance. And if you use those links, it helps support the channel with no extra cost to you. So if you are planning an upgrade, definitely check it out. Thanks for hanging out and watching. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Got anything in your mind, drop a comment or just join my telegram group. And as always, keep vibing and I will catch you in the next one.